Hey, what up dudes? Your boy, Robbie Rowe. It's the first time I've ever done a facility tour and I'm gonna grab the reverse lunge guy himself, Dr. Heenan. We're gonna give a baseball facility tour of advanced therapy performance in Stanford, Connecticut. We'll go around the whole facility talking about what this bad boy has to offer. I've never done a facility tour, but I have vlogged before, so I should be a pro at this, right? I have stabilization on, at least I remembered that. Okay yeah, guys, we got Dr. Heenan here. We're gonna go through a little facility tour. I'll be your host this evening. Where are we at, Stanford? We're in Stanford, Connecticut at our home of advanced therapy and performance. So everything we see, we have our front office. We have our staff office here okay. where they all go hang out. You currently have Ryan and Taylor. What's up staff? Hey, How are we doing? We have our and we're out. jerseys of some of our athletes. So my jersey. Yes. And we got all of our, any of our pro guys that have been here with us a significant amount of time. Mm -hmm. We have Matt's mental skills office here. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things, actually, I think you will appreciate this. I appreciate most things you said. Have you I'll ever appreciate. seen the feelings wheel? Oh, no. Uh, this is, this is going to no. be good. This is going to be, all right. So um, there's many different variations of this. Let me ask you right now. <laughs> I know this is not the intent, but let me ask you. Oh, what, are you what are you feeling right now? What am I feeling? Yeah. Um, Come here. I Come just here. drank pre-workout, so I'm pretty jumpy. Jumpy? All right. Well, then maybe this isn't good for you. But <laughs> But I love how Matt utilizes this because it helps us kind of build some more perspective for our athletes when we're figuring out where we are on the emotional spectrum of whether it's within sports, whether it's school, whether, you know, any of our training modalities and figuring out like, oh, am, am I having like a tough day? I'm just not, not having it. I'm a little sad. Okay. And he'll jump in and he'll kind of help to find what is causing the issue oh. based on your actual feelings. So you might like being sad is a real broad feeling. Yeah. And then, you know, being guilty right. is a whole nother one versus like remorseful and shame is really kind of nailing it down. Sure. So you can start to unpack that. Maybe when you were younger, you were ridiculed for something. Is that how you're feeling? Why does it make you feel like that? And then Matt kind of helps you unpack those things so you can understand it in a better way that you can yeah. say, wait, this is what I'm feeling. Right. How can I work with this? Or right. what has worked for me right. in the past? But I do love Matt's office. I like how he does that. Yeah. Um, Matt's been with us for a long time now and he is also one of our performance coaches. Then we have... Brian, our director's office. <laughs> you just look perfect, dude. That felt yeah. like right out of Very the office. Very studious. <laughs> this is one of our treatment, our big treatment office here. We do our integrated performance therapy. Myself, Taylor, Kevin. All right, side note. I'll insert a clip of the last time I sat on that freaking chair. I was getting plantar fasciitis treatment and it was the worst thing ever. We'll insert that now. Three, two. Oh, frick, what was that? Ow! Ooh, dude! What happened to the, like, the deep breath? Go there. Bathroom, shower, athlete's lounge, kind of a little clubhouse area. What's so your, I, what's your goal, what's your goal as a the facility owner for the athlete's hall? Or this, this kind of clubhouse feel, this vibe? I want them to have a place where they can come and hang out and interact with each other. So my favorite thing is seeing our pro and college guys interact with our high school guys. Because mm. I think one of the biggest things that we get to offer here that's not necessarily a service, it's just kind of a part of our community, is that our highest level pros are so different than you know our youngest athletes in many aspects some of their skill level some of their yeah. strengths some of their like mentality things like that their their habits and so sometimes they see those athletes and they're like oh my god that's like i'm never gonna be able to get there but then when they see them working out and they're you know right. play table tennis with them they have lunch with them they're it's like just they're like they're, they're literally right there just and the they person. also see that like we have high schoolers that lunge more than some of our pros sure and so it's like they're like wow i can really like connect yeah. with those people so yeah. it's a nice little area that we have yeah. a lot of guys you'll see them playing chess a lot of them will play uh, other games this is our training floor we have our turf we have our floor matting rubber matting um we really have three distinct areas we have our warm up and like movement area. Mm -hmm. We have our training floor area mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, weight area and then our baseball yeah. style area. What's the main point of emphasis for you on why you put like leaderboards up here? So we want to have some kind of metrics where, where we know we're moving the needle on the performance on the field. So we have obviously our 90 mile hour formula metrics because that's something we fundamentally believe in. But we also have other metrics in here. Like we have a Proteus score, we have pull down metrics, we have our mountain velo, uh, 60 yard dash, rear foot elevated, split squat holds. We wanna see how our athletes are progressing. We also wanna be able to share some of the highlights of our athletes 
and where they currently are, what yeah. they've achieved, and then have our other athletes be able to say, hey, this is something I can jump on. Yeah, I don't see my name up there. That's a personal problem. We have our kind of movement prep area where we'll do some of our foam rolling, um, generalized like warm up. So when athletes come in, they'll check in to our online booking so they verify their appointment. Then we walk through their warm up with our staff, making sure that like we're hitting a um, you know kind of athlete first style warm up where we're, we're really preparing the body for the work that they're going to do that day. Some athletes will have uh, what we call an extra warm up. So. At the end of their current warm-up, they will have bits and pieces of things like, let's say you have a thoracic rotation issue mm -hmm. that's limited. Well, we're going to add in a little bit extra work for that person to make sure that that drives a lot of the training that they're doing in here. That may be written by our performance staff, or that might be something that our therapy staff picks up on and says, hey, we need to do a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to incorporate that into your warm-up because it's something you're going to do every day sure. until we you know, progress from there. Good. We what have are these things on the ground? Yeah, we got the Indo board, nice little balance beam. Just to give a little bit more um, stimulus in the body, we have our... Um, let's see you get on it, dude. Oh, let's, let's see you get go. on one of these warlocks. Ah, this one, this is the hardest one. Our little slack line. I'll give you my bad side. Your bad side's your left side? Yeah. In terms of stability-wise, my left side's a lot more challenge. Is your left eye vision worse? Uh, no, I think it's my right. Yeah? You're, you're good at this one, right? I'm good at that one. It's a little bit easy on the. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit easy on the uh, turf. Where do you want to usually be on it with these? I like it being on a smooth surface. The turf's not smooth. The rubber matting. Mm. I'm the best. Great. One of my favorite things that we have from our last facility is our 90 mile hour formula board. I'm sure we're missing some people that have yet to put their information up. That's right. But we have anybody that hits the formula metrics, they come over and sign the wall. And uh, where's my name? Let's keep going. Sounds like a personal problem. Let's go on to the training side. Training side. Training side. We got a nice big open training floor. Lots of free weights, lots of kettlebells, boxes, med balls. We got some physio balls out back. We got our racks. Um, we have plenty of barbells. Let's go over, let's feature the pile wall here. Med, med ball, ball wall. Med ball wall. We still will do some plyos every once Do you in do plyos over here? I, I have. We have our pros that have signed this. So any of our pro athletes that have been in here, have you signed this wall? I was gonna say, dude, my freaking signature's nowhere in here. All right, well, do you want to sign it right now? Should we do it right now? Let's go. Pen? Go ask Brian for it. All right, go I'll ask Brian for it. You I'm hold that. Don't over. break it. Did he, All right. Did he not give you one? I got a sharpie. Nope. What's my number? One two. I won't write anything else. No, oh, we're back. That makes me really happy. Yeah? Yeah. I was gonna, I was for sure gonna take it. I really like red Sharpies. Next little piece of equipment, one of our favorites here is our Proteus. 3D power and strength training, but we're able to test and get immediate feedback. We use it for our, some of our monthly tests that we do with our athletes, or we might do it quarterly, depending on the athlete's needs and goals. It gives us a really good measurement in different positions on how we're gonna start really training people or like is is our everyday training carrying over the way we want to to be more skill specific and sport specific based yeah. on their needs. So you're using that with mostly every athlete? We test it regularly. It's within our the monthly meetings with Matt. So Matt, our yeah, mental yeah. skills coordinator, will oversee those, test it super regularly. Some people will use it within their program depending on what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah. You know what's crazy about this facility? is that it's really freaking spacey, dude. There's a lot of space in here. How it many is, athletes do you get in here at one time? We might get up to like, on a real, real high end, probably like 50, 60. We try to taper it down to be much lower than that, but there's often like overlap with times and then you get your therapy and times overlap. So it can be, it can get busy in here. So the, the big leaguers are working out with High school. It depends like on the day. It depends yeah. on the day and times we have. We try to open up hours and cater to all of our baseball players. So mm -hmm. like in season, we know like on a rain day, we're like, we're like, all right, we're going to be opening up for extra hours because yeah. guys are going to try to get in, especially teams that can't practice inside for whatever reason. Yeah. In season again, we'll like the weekends when they when they may not have games or like practices or like longer practice days, mm -hmm. we'll have them make sure we have hours then. Our pro guys often in the off season will come in in the morning, college guys will be like morning, midday, high school guys more in the afternoon, but there is often a spillover yeah. in both, which is awesome. That's yeah. like, again, yeah. some of my favorite part. Yeah.
And it's awesome that you have big leaguers too that are willing to kind of hang out with those guys. And yeah, well, we're, we're lucky. I mean, our, our people are fantastic. They're super friendly and they, they're just real humans that happen to do something a lot better than a lot of yeah. other people. Plyo area, which is well used, as you can see. Yeah. We'll use any of these walls, which is great um, for our plyo care stuff, arm care, all of our programs. So we start all of our programs with an initial evaluation with um, one of our performance staff. We'll go over every single thing that we need to do in terms of like athletes' goals. We often call it our player performance profile. So we look at our players' goals, what their needs are in terms of like how we can make that happen. And then we build out a program based on those needs. So if someone lacked thoracic rotation, their rotational um, scores on their proteus are relatively low. And we see that their um, you know track man data says that the ball doesn't run the way they want it to. It's like, all right, well, we got a rotational issue. We need to start catering to that. That evaluation, goes into all of our training, all of our therapy, and something a little bit different than other places is like into our throwing performance stuff. Anybody that ends up working with our throwers, like Luke Dawson, throw underscore Ched, we don't call him a throwing coach, we call him our integrated throwing coordinator. So he oversees all of the throwing programs for those athletes, and he understands what we're doing in therapy. He brings all of what we do in therapy and training with the same vision of what he wants to get for throwing. If an athlete comes and has a cervical rotation issue, and I tell him that the cervical rotation issue I think is is having him fly open a little bit. Mm -hmm. Looks like, all right, well, he checks his cervical rotation too, and he's like, all right, well, I think this is a part of the issue. Either this guy might need a little bit more therapy, maybe we need to change the stuff in his training, or what I love about Luke's programs is that like the warm up that they're gonna do for the throwing program is gonna be catered to that individual's needs, mm -hmm. so we can kind of bridge all those things. We have a generalized warm up we use. There yeah. are certain things that our athletes will do commonly across many programs, but it comes down to the individual athletes. Some people need the same strengths and performance needs, yeah. but then some things need to be catered to them. Yeah, for sure. Let me ask you a quick question. Shoot. The, um, the, the scheduling for like uh, someone's day, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a couple athletes in here yep. right now, right? Are they coming in here and throwing first, warming up to throw? Are they warming up to train and then mm. throw? How do you structure that? That's a good question. We're primarily offering three service services, therapy, training, and throwing. With those services, we schedule everything. So you're not just coming in on a whim. You're not just showing up and saying, I'm gonna show up at four o'clock today. Mm -hmm. You schedule in advance. How you schedule that is up to you, the therapist, the throwing coach, whatnot. Some people want to throw before they lift. Some people want to lift before oh, they okay. throw. Oh, so you give them that option. It's up to them. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, and so that's how we kind of bake it in so some guys obviously are just taking their time getting getting yeah. themselves in warming up right after school right now yeah and they might jump right in and start doing their throwing program or they might start doing the training or might be getting ready doing kind of their prep work before they get treated this is you know our extension of the plyo wall a lot of times we'll see our athletes um once they do their active warm-up stuff for their throwing they'll do a lot of flat ground work then they'll work into their mound stuff obviously the fact that you have a mound with your plyo is like a huge win it's good it's really good. it's really good it's, really it's a good transition i like the fact that you know for me personally that give a lot of flexibility to the athlete on what they feel like they need mm -hmm. but also with the structure of like hey we're trying to work on these components facts so yeah. you can you can kind of mix and, and match and it comes down to how you're feeling. We got some of our faves right here. We obviously, we have some driveline balls in the corner. We have some weighted leather balls. Damn. We have some, I, I great testament. I love the Myron balls. Do you? I do. I, I really like the feel of them. Yep. I like these ones are happen to be broken. Yeah, I was just saying, they, they do break they, a lot. They, they do break a lot. We use them quite a bit, but that's okay. Yeah. Hey, and if you don't like it, don't it, throw as hard. Exactly. Um, we do love our Fuegos. They're a good tool. Shout out Clean Fuego discount yes. code Robbie. Yep. <laughs> um, do some water bags, yeah, things like that. We have not other... shout out Oat Specialties for the freaking connection ball. We have our Stalker. We have our Track Man. And this is something that Luke Throachet is actively like, monitoring during now do you have depends a, on the session but yes if you're a member here right like if you're in atp are you is that something that's included like do you pick when you throw pens off the track man you're going to be scheduling with luke directly okay yeah, yeah. so, there's, so we'll, there's do, a we'll either do some one-on-one -on -one yeah. or some group stuff and that goes that ties in with their actual like month-long throwing program with Correct. atp right yes okay yes cool. so it's all put together cool and then how long what what, what are the cages in terms of length, I 70, want to say 70, 70 75. Feet? And then I know it ends up being about a thousand square feet. So it's like 70, 75 and probably like maybe 12 this way. I don't remember exact dimensions, but we do a good amount of live ABs for our high school, college and pro guys. Obviously it depends on the
the other guys come in and utilize them as much as they want. Definitely, you know, this is where we want everything to kind of come together. So for, for individual throwing programs, so like he's getting after his throwing right now, it's probably just regular catch play. Is there throwing? Is it like he goes, he has the cage for X time? Or is it like people right kind now, of throw whenever? Right like, now, he's just coming in and getting work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I was going to say, like, how do, how do we kind of organize, like, every athlete during the wintertime throwing? We try to coordinate the, you know, in the peak off season when it's, like, it's busiest. Yeah. Luke does a good chunk of um, group throwing programs, and then he'll have other days where it's primarily one-on-one. We do have two cages, and so we try to kind of balance it to make sure that our athletes can can use it as they need fit. Yeah, for and, sure. And a lot of times, you know, guys, will they're, they're going to have their school. They, some of them might have, like, a cage in their backyard. Some sure. of them might have, like, their travel team. Or some they, you know, wants a long toss. Like, you know, guys right, exactly. So it's it's a good mix. And everybody's, yeah. you know, we're, we're a good community. Like, if five guys show up right now, and they're going to work in together. Yeah. Like, right? They're just trying to get some work in yeah so. all right and then down there you got your nine pockets you got your balls yep. this is more hitting cage you guys got yeah, active yep. hitting coaches that come in and yep. do some work with you guys yes sir for those of you guys watching that are super interested in coming here and checking it out maybe in the area yep. will you tell them how they can maybe grab a link in the description or something yep. that gets you gets you locked in advanced therapy performance.com easiest way to grab us shoot us an email there's um some inquiry buttons on the website the uh merch I showed the merch mm. in the beginning. That's it's guys. It's it's honestly like got the. Memo. It's really really it's, comfortable. It's probably some of the best merch. Um, Soft little enjoy long toss. I'm reverse that's, lunge into that's, that. And that's an older one. It's an older that's one. That's an older one. I like the older ones. Uh huh. They fade really nicely. And then the merch is by atpgear.com still. Yep. It's uh, and it's linked up on the website too. If oh, you're okay. Like, so it's all on the website. Gear. Yep. For people wanting more information on the facility, it's going to advancedaireperformance.com. Yep. And then is there a way that people maybe watching this that aren't from here mm -hmm. and they're traveling that want to maybe get some work in, yep. check out the facility for a week? Is that the same kind of dynamic? Yeah. We we do things on a one off basis on that. So usually we schedule like one on one appointments yeah. and get them in. Just because if they're gonna if they're gonna be traveling from afar, we want to make sure they get a lot of hand hand to hand combat with us. So yeah. we actually can make some big changes and, and overhaul those things usually they end up getting multiple services usually they'll end up doing our therapy or training and yeah. treatment for our local members we're basically packaging basically everything together for so. sure all right hey thanks for your time man thank you have you. a great facility it's it's one thank of my you. personal favorites thank honestly you. i um, appreciate it for me personally the biggest key points is like the people always the people the people here at atp are, are second to none i always appreciate every, that every, everyone everyone that you walk into i was just telling him on the car right over here i was like dude i'm wanting to do something where i can be out here more because of like you are who you surround yourself with dude of course and when you have a staff like you do and the just the overall people and the quality the vibe it's really special it's We're hard really not lucky. to get better you know when you seven foot into a facility like yeah. this that's probably true to most facilities, right? I, like, I do really believe that what we do is in all of our services, but especially in therapy is a little bit different. I believe we have like a world-class view on it. But at the end of the day, we're working with you and you get to see the people that are, you know, your peers that are moving forward or or falling behind and that's how we want you to really progress yeah. because that's that's where you're going to get better and you're going to see and learn from one another. Me and Luke can work with an athlete all day long, post-op, rehab, things like that. But then you jump in to a cage and you have like a JoJo or yeah. you or someone that's been through the you gamut. You just threw my name in with JoJo. Yeah. Oh shoot, that's yeah. Josiah, well, right? But you have, you have these athletes that have unique abilities and unique skill sets. We can coach all day long and they may have one little cue that changes it for someone. Sure. Last yeah. question. What inspires you to get a hacky sack in this building? Harms actually oh, brought shoot. the- Oh shoot, freaking cut it. 